This is CS Moments. Today's topic is Part 1, Section 2, Site-Specific Factor Code 988 versus 999. And I'm Donna Gress, AJCC Technical Specialist. Is there a significant difference between 988 and 999? Will a data, data user treat 988 any different than 999? Here we've included the code and the description. 988 is not applicable, information not collected for this case, and 999 is unknown or no information or not documented in the patient record. Now from the data analysis perspective, there is a major difference for data analysis. Code 988 has two specific criteria for use. Either the site-specific factor is undefined, and in this case, usually the software will automatically fill in for these sites, and the registrar does not have to do anything. And the second scenario is the site-specific factor is defined and not required by the standard setter. Keep in mind that the Commission on Cancer and SEER may require a site-specific factor, but MPCR might not. Now from the cancer registry perspective, if you have a defined site-specific factor that is not required and the registry does not choose to collect this, you would use code 988 to mean, I'm not trying to collect this data item, I'm not reviewing any documentation looking for this information, and I'm treating this site-specific factor the same way as an undefined site-specific factor. Now, if the defined site-specific factor is not required, but the registry does want to collect this, the physicians and the facility or the region want to collect this data, then you would use code 999 when there is no information available or no documentation. Don't use code 988 when the hospital or central registry decides to collect the site-specific factor even though it's not required by their respective standard setters. You should not use code 988 for any of those cases. Cases should be coded 999 for no information available. Now the practical meaning of these codes. Code 988 for a defined site-specific factor does not mean not applicable because of missing information. It's really stating I am not collecting this data item because it's not required. Code 999 means there's missing information or documentation. The same concept applies to a defined site-specific factor not required and the registry decides to collect it. Now when to use this in the cancer registry? If the site-specific factor is defined and not required, and the hospital or central registry decides to collect the site-specific factor, data should be collected on all cases, not just collected for the cases that have the information available. For example, if the registry will not collect breast schema site-specific factor 24, then all of those cases should be coded to 988, not applicable because no standard setter requires the site-specific factor. Now, if the registry will collect breast schema site-specific factor 24, then they should use the applicable codes such as 10, 20, 30, and 999 for cases with no information. They should never have a mixture of defined codes 988 and 999. Now, the impact for a hospital registry. It's very important for registrars to report on 999 for quality improvement studies. You would not want to run a report on 988 because that indicates the registry was not collecting the site-specific factor even if the information was found in the chart. 999 means one of two things. It could mean that there's documentation that is not in the chart. This could be discussed at cancer committee and ask your physicians to start documenting. Or it could mean that there's documentation in the chart and it was either missed or overlooked by the abstractor. Or maybe it was misunderstood by the abstractor and therefore not coded. So a quality improvement project for a site-specific factor could be 
If you're looking at physician documentation, discuss the importance when doing studies for physicians. Encourage the physicians to document this and then monitor them for improvement over the following months. Now, if it's Registrar Education and Quality of Work, you could look to see if the information was seen but misunderstood by the abstractor and therefore not coded. Education could be provided to help the registrar understand the site specific factor and the terminology that is being used. If the information was not seen by the abstractor, then you could have a discussion on the importance of attention to detail, completeness, and quality. You would then monitor this for improvement over a set time frame. The references for this can be found in Collaborative Stage Version 0203 Coding Instructions, Part 1, Section 1, page 79, number 3, and page 80, number 7. It can also be found in Collaborative Stage Version 0204 Coding Instructions, Part 1, Section 1, page 83, number 3, and page 85, number 7. If you have any questions, please submit them to the Cancer Forum. This provides information for everyone and allows tracking for educational purposes to help us choose topics for future educational videos. This has been brought to you by the Collaborative Stage Education and Training Team. Thank you for your attention.